Welcome to Craft Shop. Brad here. If you haven't already, check out Bill Avulsi's channel on YouTube. He's another maker. He's got a ton of cool and interesting videos, and he just recently announced a pen making challenge. For the last few days, all I've been seeing are videos related to this challenge, and it has really inspired me to try my hand at it. The rules are you are not allowed to use a lathe to make the pen. A lathe is probably the most common tool used to make pens, so it's making things pretty interesting. I, for one, have never made a pen in my life uh, with a lathe or without a lathe. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge to me. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I'm just going to go for it. All right, I've got a bunch of random hardware and scrap, so I figured I could make something that at least looks like a pen. All right, time to tear apart a pen and steal the ink tube. I'm choosing this pen because the ink tube fits very well inside a piece of quarter inch brass tubing that I found. I'm centering a quarter inch tube into a larger diameter tube. In order to keep the position, I fill the void with epoxy. Once the epoxy is cured, I flush up both ends of the tube. And just a quick test fit of the ink tube. It's a little bit tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it just a little bit. I'm drilling out some of the epoxy. I'm gonna be inlaying a nut that will serve as the point of the pen. I probably could have used a little bit less epoxy to begin with, but I'm literally making this up as I go. In order to fit the tube, I'm rounding the corners of the nut. Now I'm flattening the top. Moving out of the drill press, I'm just popping in a small hole. After some filing and shaping, I've exposed the threads. Now I'm tightening a bolt down through the top of the nut. I'm left with a short cylinder extension. Now I'm just drilling a small hole through the extension. Now that I have my hole made, I clean off my pieces and solder them together.
Once they're connected, I can start shaping the front of the pen. You can see I've worked this down into a cone shape. Now I'm drilling some holes into the side near the back of the body. This is going to be a bolt action concept so I'm making some room for the lever mechanism. Back to the scrap bin to find a lever. I find some steel rod that fits well within the inner tube. I need a 90 degree bend so I'm just scaling back the bend that's already in the rod. Time for a test fit with the lever. It fits great and it seems to follow the track really well. It's a lot bigger than I need so I'm going to cut it down to size. Now I'm just rounding over the corners and cleaning up the piece. I'm also cleaning up the pen body on the slack portion of the belt sander. And that's looking pretty good actually. Nice and clean finish. Alright, I've inserted the ink tube and now I'm just testing the function of the bolt action design. And it seems to be working pretty well. Now I'm just cutting off some extra material from the back. Alright, moving on to texturing the pen body. I'm just creating a bit of a rough stone finish with my Dremel tool. All right, the texture is all done. Moving out of the paint, I'm using a high gloss black. After it's all dry, I hand sand it starting low and moving up to about 400 grit. This reveals my textured pattern with a little bit of contrast. Now I can go ahead and assemble the inner components. Once more, I'm checking the bolt action lever, making sure it works well with the spring and the ink tube. And I found another one of these nuts laying around. I'm gonna go ahead and use this as the back. And I'm just using some heavy duty Loctite epoxy to attach it. All right, after letting it sit for a while, I go ahead and take the tape off. And there is the final pen. I'm really happy with the way this came out. It looks like it would be pretty heavy, but it's actually very light. I'm not using heavy materials here, but it is very tough. I dropped this off my workbench a few times and it's in great shape still. And I expect this to last quite a while.
Well, there it is. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck to everybody that entered this challenge. You are all the inspiration for my entry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.